So the first thing that you need to do um, to actually get Smappy, Smappy, whatever you'll call it, to get it going is you actually need to download it. So go over to Nexus Mods, uh, look for Smappy. Then you're going to go to Files. And you're actually going to do a manual download. We're not messing with mod managers for this tutorial. In fact, I don't even use mod managers for Stardew Valley. There is uh, one Stardew. I mean, what is it? It's not Stardew. It's, um, wow, it is Stardrop. That's what it is called. So there is one called Stardrop, and I taught everybody how to do it on one of my videos. Um, I just I just showed you how to do it in case that's what you prefer, but I don't use any kind of mod managers for Stardew Valley. So we're going to click manual download and then it'll pop up and you'll open it up. I already have it downloaded, so we're going to go straight here. So here we have the installer for Smappy. And the thing is, this is a compressed folder. So you'll need a program like uh, WinRare or 7-Zip. And what you'll do is once you have this downloaded, just extract it all. And what I like to do when I'm extracting it all is I just take it straight to the desktop. So I'll, I've um, got a lot of stuff on my desktop, but I'll just put it straight on the desktop. That way I know where it's at and it's easily cleaned up once I'm done with it. So I don't like to leave files laying around. <laughs> I say that even though you just saw that it's clearly not true, but in practice, I like to be sure that I keep all the files cleaned up after I'm done installing. Okay, so the installer has been extracted to my desktop. We are done with the Nexus mods for the time being. And so we will go to our desktop and where did it go? Here it is. There it is. I'll put it right there in the middle. So we have the Smappy installer. And what we'll do is we will open it up and see you have options. You can install on Linux or Mac. I can't help you with that. I don't have either one of those. I'm a Windows person. So what you'll click and what most of you will probably click is install on Windows. And so you'll have this screen pop up. What I like to do whenever I am installing Smappy for the first time, which doesn't happen very often, or whenever I am upgrading Smappy, like an update comes out, I need to, I need to update it. What I'll do is um, I'll usually uninstall it first and then use a program to reinstall it. So here it says, do you want to add or remove Smappy? Um, or sorry, where do you want to add or remove Smappy? And option one is always the standard uh, directory. And then if you have like a custom path, like you install it somewhere else aside from where normal installation would, would put it, then you'll use a custom path. Most people, if you're using Steam or something like that, you probably have it in a standard directory. So we'll just push one here and hit enter. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and uninstall Smappy. And the reason for that, see, it's pretty straightforward. Smappy is removed. If you configure Steam to launch Smappy, don't forget to clear your launch options. And we'll actually talk about that here in a second. So I uninstalled it. There it is. It doesn't give me more options to do anything else. So we'll close it and we'll just reopen the program. So if you're uh, updating or if you're in a situation where this is the first time you're installing it, this is really where you want to pay attention. So we're going to hit one again and we're going to hit install this time. So what this is doing, this is actually installing Smappy. It's really fast and straightforward, like it's already done. And so um, here is the, the file. I'm sorry, not the file. Here is the directory in which we have it installed. But we're not going to do anything with that yet. We're just going ahead and close it. And we can go ahead and close this installation. Um, I'm sorry, this installer folder. We're done with that also. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Stardew Valley folder. I already have it up, but in hindsight, let me just get you to it from, from square one. And in hindsight, really also, probably could have just copied that directory that it gave us, that path that it gave us on the installer, and just pasted it up here and went straight to it. But um, just so you know where it's at, this is probably good practice anyway. So I have st the Steam version. So what, is it? Um, so what I'll do is I'll hit uh, C drive, program files, double click that. 
go to Steam, and then we are looking for Steam apps. It's an app through Steam, click that. And then we will go to Common, and we are looking for Stardew Valley. There it is right there. So we'll open Stardew Valley, and this is your, your location where you're actually going to find Smappy. So there it is right there. It's called Stardew Modding API, S-M-A-P-I, so Smappy. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to right-click it and hit Copy as Path. So this gives us the location of where Stardew Valley is. And so we're going to open up Steam. Ignore the mess here. And we're going to look for Stardew Valley over here on the left side. And once we find it, we're going to right click that, hit, uh, not manage, we're going to hit properties. And so what you'll have right here, when you open up properties on this main page, you get this window that'll pop up. And this is what we're looking for under launch options. So what we can do is, um, I already have it pasted, but what it, you can do if you don't have it pasted, and which most of you probably don't, which is probably why you're, why you're here, since you copied that path, you can just paste it right here and it'll show up. So it's important to notice, see how you have these parentheses? Keep those. So just as it is, as it is when it copies, when you, when you go to it, here we are back at our main folder. If we right click, and again, I'll show you, hit copy as path. That is what we are pasting directly right here. Parentheses and all. And then once you have that, you can just close. And then what will happen, or what should happen, we'll see if, uh, if I know what I'm talking about. If I click Stardew Valley, I just want to run the program. Yep, here we go. This is what we should see. This little black box will pop up, and it'll start running all of our all of our mods. It's going to start uploading everything. And the more mods you got, the longer it takes. So, like, I have some issues here with some stuff. I haven't updated in a while. I need to update. But anyway, here we are. So this shows all the mods. We got I have 73 mods currently. And you have different colors that will pop up. So like here we have red, which means that I have a a mod that has a problem. I need to look at this. And then there's another color. Here we ooh. Oh. Let's just let's just uh minimize that. And so here we have purple, which is something you also might want to keep an eye out for. Whenever you see purple start showing up, mine went by too fast. But when you see purple start showing up, um, th these are all mods that need updated. And it's quite a few. I think I said it was 57 mods I need to update. So I have my work cut out for me here. And like I pointed out, this went by really fast. I have a pretty fast computer, but it's still worthwhile even if you do have a fast computer switch over here and just look every once in a while once a month or so and um, more often if you play it more often but look and see if you have any purple showing up because that means it's time for you to go and update and luckily it'll actually give you the link that you can go directly to it and uh, start the installation process and if you're not sure how to install mods i do have a video how to install mods on stardew valley and i'll put a link to that um here on the video in the corner, and I'll also put a link in the description for you. So I'm gonna close out of this, because I'm actually, we're actually not playing Stardew Valley. I'm gonna show you one more trick that you can do, just in case, say you followed it step by step, and for whatever reason, you're still having problems. It's just not working for you. We can go back here. Again, we're in the main Stardew Valley folder. We're gonna find the Smappy application, which is called the Stardew Modding API, just to be sure we're, we're being consistent here. I'm gonna right click this, go down to view, uh, show more options, and then I'm going to create a shortcut. And, oh, here it is. So it created a shortcut in that folder. And so what I'm going to do is I can just take that shortcut, drag and drop it, and now it is on my desktop also. And what this is, is a direct link to your Smappy app. So I'll click it again, and it's doing just like it did before. So really what this is, is 
it's a shortcut directly to Smappy. And then if we decide to go the Steam route and that's what we decide is more convenient for us by posting, uh, by pasting that shortcut, we're basically doing the same thing, but we are accessing it through our normal Stardew Valley shortcut as opposed to Smappy. Both work fine. I use this, I used, shoo, go away. I used this shortcut directly through Smappy for years and it works fine. There's no problem at all. Uh, I actually, I learned about the, the, the Steam trick pretty recently within like a year or so. And so uh, I would say I've used this more than I've used this and they both work fine. So anyway, that is the trick. That is the the step-by-step -step to getting Smappy installed for Stardew Valley and taking care of business so that you can get it running. And I hope that helps clear up some questions because I had a lot of comments asking how to do it. Um, if you still have questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, and be, please be sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Peace out.